go get him. One of the most unique sculptures you'll ever see, the Fist of Joe Lewis at Hart Plaza. We're coming to you from Detroit, Michigan. Welcome basketball fans to a very special Veterans Day edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. We've got the Charlotte Hornets taking on the Detroit Pistons. And let's go straight over to David Aldridge for a report before the tip-off. Hey, Dave. Thank you very much. Now, Blake Griffin is new to Detroit, but he feels the blue-collar nature of this city suits him just fine. He said, hard work was instilled in me at a very young age. The very base of my game has always been physical. Guys, back to you. Well, Detroit is happy to have him, David. Thanks. Tonight's matchup, two transition offenses. Steve, over your 14 NBA years, who are some of your favorite teammates uh, to run the fast break with? You know, one that comes to mind was probably the quickest, Tony Parker. Mm. I mean, when he first entered his league, he had Jets. Yep. So Detroit will get the first possession. So let's take a look at the Charlotte starting lineup. We've got Kemba Walker. Batuma's out there with Zeller. Then there's Hernan Gomez. And it's Lamb. And it's the two. Last outing for Charlotte. Sure. shooting their fourth attempt at the free line right here. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78%. You know, it's interesting. Blake has increased his shooting range, but that hasn't really carried over to the free throw line. Out to the right wing. Monk kicks to Biombo. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. The shot by Monk is no good. Pistons leading by four. Here's Garcia. Knocks down the three ball. And off to an incredible start here early from long range. Here's Walker. He's been a go-to guy for them when they've needed offense. He's averaging 19 points a game. And the pass to Monk. Now, Kid Gilchrist. There's the pick. Monk with the ball. He's against Garcia. Schlitt no good that time either. Well, if you're the coach, you're frustrated right now. That's exactly the look you're trying to get on offense. Blake Griffin, an all-star for his first five seasons in the NBA, but not the last three. He's still an impact player, though. We'll see if he can crack the roster in the East. That's good from Blake Griffin. Well, as we all know, Blake Griffin, Steve, possessing breathtaking athleticism, but injuries certainly have been a concern. You're right. A lot of it, just bad luck. A teammate falls on your knee. That kind of thing happens. But his skill level is starting to complement his power. I think he'll be fine. Bacon, he's checked in for Charlotte. Parker comes in for Walker. Blake Griffin hits them both. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And it's good for two. But you know what? Sometimes something good can come out of a bad possession. Smith, the pass to Pachulli. Back to Smith. Outside, Garcia. With the shot, shot clock at six. And Griffin with the score. The assist by Pachulia. No hesitation from Blake on that catch-and-shoot jumper. Yambo, foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free-throw line here. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. First trip to the free-throw line for him in this one.
shooting two. And that one misses. Smitty, every so often we'll hear about a team holding a players-only meeting. You've been there, I'm sure. You've gone through that. What exactly goes on in, in those discussions? You know, Kevin, when you hear players-only meeting, something's going wrong <laughs> with the team. Right. And obviously, we meet all the time. But when there's specific and quotation of players-only meeting, there's a lot of things that are going wrong with the team, with individuals, with the coaches or general managers. They are trying to find a way to hash it out, and those are never good. And he gets the bucket. And hard to believe already they're staring at a double-digit lead, and we've just gotten started. Fantastic effort right out of the gate, simply overwhelming their opponent. Here's Bacon. <laughs> Off the left rim and out. Pistons leading by 10. And Garcia kicks to Lewis. Garcia with the ball. Picked up by Kid Gilchrist. Smith against Parker. Lure a screen on Parker. Here's Garcia. It's rebounded by Charlotte. They're coming off that win against Philadelphia. And anytime you come off the bench, you know your role. And that night, it was about scoring. Especially on the roll. You're hoping for any extra contributions. But for a couple of stretches there, the backups control the game. Detroit's gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. But Julia kicks to Lure to the right side. Lure the screen. Shot off the screen. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Not sure of the thought process on that one. Really bad shot selection. Well, you're playing for the team, not just yourself. They needed much better execution that trip down the floor. Now here's Parker. 14 points from him. The last game against the 76ers in Philadelphia. And it was an unselfish night for him as well. He got plenty of assists to go along with all those points. Pistons leading by eight. Julia the pass to Robinson. Kid Gilchrist with the steal. Pass to Bacon. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Now let's take a moment to see the teams that lead the league in field goal percentage. In the third spot, the Pistons. So patient on the offensive end. I mean, they're not going to force shots, and it's that selectiveness that's yielded such an impressive field goal percentage. Shoot two. And he makes the first. The Pistons making a change here. Johnson's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. For Detroit, they've gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. Pass to Lure. Outside, Garcia. Six to shoot. Back to Lure. Some solid defense from Kid Gilchrist. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. What's up? For Charlotte, they have gone five of eight from the charity stripe here tonight. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Well, Steve, at the same time that the rest of the NBA seems to be going small, the Pistons are building their fortunes around two traditional big men, Drummond and Blake Griffin. Uh, do you like that direction? Yeah, I do. Andre Drummond, he has tremendous mobility for his size. And Blake Griffin, he's highly skilled. I think it's about the pieces you put around them, guys that can shoot and guys that can play without the basketball in their hands. Very smooth finish with the finger roll. A minute 20 left to play in the first quarter. 
Smith against Parker. Pass to Bacon. Fades and shoots. Biombo and Pachulia pulls it down. Pistons leading by five. The pass to Smith. Kid Gilchrist against Lure. Back to Smith. Lure the screen. Six to shoot. Smith off the screen. Again, the Pistons score. A smooth play by Ish Smith. Under control, off the pick, takes it himself. To the wing on the left. Bacon, the pass to Biombo. Charlotte moving it around. Bacon gets the bucket. Bacon's got 11 points. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Smith outside. Garcia sets the screen for Smith. That shot off. We have blown opportunity after the two-man game creates a terrific look. That's how it's drawn up. That is everything but the finish. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The Pistons on top, leading by five. Live from Little Caesars Arena, you're watching... And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And what stands out to you from the Pistons so far in this one? They've gotten that perimeter game going in that first. And for me, that was the difference. Hot right out of the gate, generating some early confidence and building on that lead. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. On the court for the Pistons, John Luer is out there with Johnson. Then it's G, and it's Smith, and it's Pachulia in at the center, locking down the middle. Detroit leading by seven. Garcia passes to Lure, and finished off by Lure. Ooh, that's as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular fashion. That's about as, as violent as a rim rocker as it gets. A real confidence builder. And Monk is an interesting player, a combo guard with fantastic scoring potential, quick on both ends of the floor. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Well, Steve, talk about leadership. Some guys are extremely vocal. And some guys that prefer to lead by example that aren't all talk, but watch what I do. Yeah, I, I think it comes out, I, I would say, the first in mind because he, he's never vocal as Kawhi Leonard. Obviously, his play, he leads by example. I think Anthony Davis is another guy that stands out for me. Um, I even look at Kevin Durant. I don't see him as a vocal leader, but I think his game and the way he leads his teams by example is one of those guys that can be leaders, but they can be leaders without being extremely vocal. Kid Gilchrist with the steal. Pass to Bacon. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. I post Pachulia. Johnson outside. Parker with the steal. Now here's the fast break. Parker leading the way. And it's out of bounds to the Hornets as Charlotte retains possession. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Detroit Pistons. On Wednesday, they'll be facing Kawhi Leonard and the Toronto Raptors. Then on Monday, they'll take on Kevin Love and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And for that matchup against the Rockets, that's a contest that could easily go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference, and both teams will need to be at their best. Now, here's Biombo. And here is Monk over Garcia. That one's in there. The Detroit lead is cut down to just three in the basket from Monk. Monk's got four points in the quarter. Detroit's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Jackson kicks to Pachulia. 
dishes it to Garcia. Back to Pachulia. Outside, Garcia. Lent it go with a three. It's rebounded by Charlotte. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Pistons team. And they were able to take the season series in that matchup last year. But overall, two teams that were very similar in the standings. Now, here's Parker. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. It's deflected. And when you look at the stats, Zaza, not a great shot blocker, but gets all of that one. The Pistons have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alder. Well, Kemba Walker helped lead UConn to a national title, but it took some time to his stride at the NBA level. He finally became an all-star, but his team is rebuilding in Charlotte. Mitch Kupchak is the new general manager, and James Borrego is the new head coach. Guys? A terrific player, D.A., for sure. Thanks. And with the chance, let's take a look now at the numbers for Jackson. First and three-point field goal percentage. And he's right there among the most efficient scorers in our league. Third overall in field goal percentage. And not only is he hitting from deep, he's doing it with great consistency. One of our league's most efficient three-point shooters. That free throw, no good. Andre Drummond's checked in for Detroit. Griffin comes in for Lure. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Bismack Biombo. Zeller comes in for Kid Gilchrist. Jeremy Lamb's checked in for Monk. And it's Kimba Walker in for Parker. And the second free throw, good. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Jackson dishes to Garcia. Outside Jackson, stolen by Walker. Oh, and here comes Walker all alone. The score now all even. Walker's got five. It almost feels like two buckets coming off the steal like it did. Drummond passes to Jackson. Outside Garcia. To the paint. Here's Drummond. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And Andre Drummond, an incredible combination of size and athleticism. Steve, any players that he reminds you of? You know, a young Dwight Howard. He's also been compared to a more athletic Moses Malone. Drummond's rebounding numbers back that up. That free throw, no good. Andre Drummond, a prototype athlete at the center position. He checks every box. Leaping ability, lateral mobility, you name it. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for the Pistons. Langston Galloway comes in for G. And he's good on the second. And for a man the size of Drummond to move and accelerate, Steve, the way he does. And the Pistons, an entirely new group now out there. Here's Lure. Eight points his last outing. Smith outside. A floater, and the layup is good. Smith's got six in the quarter. He's been so consistent scoring the basketball. It has helped him tack on to this lead. Monk kicks to Biombo. Parker outside. In the corner, it's Kid Gilchrist. Shot clock at six. And Pachulia pulls it down. Pachulia's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Garcia's shot is good. There's 1.34 and left in the first half of the game. Smith against Parker. Kid Gilchrist, a screen on Smith. Here's Parker. 
misses from short range. When you miss a lay-in, it sort of sucks the energy out of your team. Here's Garcia, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And Smitty, if you had to boil it down to a single play in your career, what was your biggest moment? Kevin, I'm glad you asked that question. I can also get it out there to everybody in the basketball universe. Game seven, Western Conference Final. Shaq fouled me, and they did not call the foul. Shaq fouled me, Kevin. That play still haunts me. I'm still mad. Really? After all these years? <laughs> yes. And he still lets me know that he didn't foul me, but we got to run the tape. He fouled me. Right. <laughs> Stanley Johnson, he's checked in for the Pistons. He doesn't get the second one. And, guys, you have to be able to knock down your free throws. Struggling with that this quarter. Good way to let your opponent back in the game. And if that doesn't get them fired up, guys, nothing will. Greg, just what the doctor ordered on huh? some high-flying annex to narrow the deficit. Not only does that dunk help in cutting into this lead, but it gives this team a real confidence boost, too. Here's Garcia. Tradition out to Pachulia. Shot clock at six. Lures hits the pick for Smith. Parker with the steal. And even three on three break. They set the screen. In the corner, it's Kid Gilchrist. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Now, just a five point piston lead. Smith, the pass to Garcia. To the left wing. Lure dishes to Garcia. Lock at six. Shot from throw range. And Lure gets it to go. Lure's got four points in the quarter. You like how he uses his height there. Sure, working the in-between area. Not many guys with the length to bother him. Monk with the ball. He gives the team some steady offense. A bit under ten points a game. Shoots over Garcia. The shot by Monk is no good. This one for three. And so we conclude the first half. Pistons lead by seven. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Coach, you guys have gotten defense into offense. How do you keep that going? Push the ball. We always want to push the ball. That's the stop. But again, we got to make good decisions. We don't want to come down and give it right back to them and let them run it down our throats at the end. Run the ball, wings get out and run, pass it ahead, but then make good decisions and attack the basket. Dwayne, good luck the rest of the way. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. second half about to start here in just a few moments. Hornets trail by seven. Here's who James Borrego is starting the second half with. Batuma's out there with Cody Zeller. Then there's Hernan Gomez. There's Jeremy Lamb. And it's Walker in at the point. And Lamb kicks to Walker. Jacks up a three. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. For three. Both teams making substitutions here. Guys, Jeremy Lamb, two years at UConn, drafted by the Thunder, but he's come into his own with the Hornets. Yeah, and what some exec call the second draft, finding young players who, for whatever reason, haven't been able to make an impact with their first team, sometimes that change of scenery and ability to mature can do wonders for a player. Walker against Smith. Walker the pass to Biombo. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. B 
Biombo's got it all tied up now for the Hornets. And they are very comfortable running their offense through Walker. And you can see why. Drops a sick dime right there. That pass was right on the money. Now Smith. He's got 12. Shot clock at 5. Shoots over Walker. And that one goes long. That's one he knows he should have drained. Parker outside. For the lead. Rebound by the Pistons. Lures got four rebounds in this game. Robinson kicks to Garcia. To the paint. Smith the pass to Pachulu. Missed inside. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. The shot by Monk is no good. Detroit's gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Outside, Garcia. To the left side wing. Lure the screen. Shot off the screen. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. And that's 13 points for G. Excellent use of the screen there to free himself up and create space to make the open J. Now here's Parker. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Count that one. The veteran I see all. Frenchie with a tremendous look to make that play happen. Over to the wing. Outside Robinson. Pachulia kicks to Robinson. Lure sets the pick for Robinson. Over Monk. Robinson misses. Charlotte is gone. Six of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. Kid Gilchrist, a screen on Smith. Doubled by Smith. Back to Walker. There's a good screen. Over Smith. Shots good by Walker. Walker's got 12 points in just the second half. Yeah, what a quarter for him. Flying on all cylinders, putting this team in a good place. Now a timeout called by Detroit. Well, Steve, when it comes down to how this country is developing young players at the amateur level, do you feel winning is overemphasized in relation to individual skill development? Yeah, I mean, great question, Kevin. I think in youth basketball right now, youth sports, I think so much now it's individually rating individual players that are playing a team sports. I want to see more of rating the team. And I think also guys getting a chance to understand winning is important. A lot of these tournaments, you play three or four games a day, and it's not so much about winning. I think it has to come down to win or go home. I love that for youth basketball. And then I also love that just getting better. And I would love for some of these youth coaches to move these players around. There's a player right now that might be playing the center spot, but let him try to play the guard spot. I think you've got to find a way to do that and talk about winning as a team versus individuals. Smart stuff. Johnson, he's checked in for Lua. And now let's highlight the deadliest deep threats to come into the NBA this season on our rookie leaderboard. Well, you look at Garcia, second in the league, extremely accurate from beyond the arc. And I think there's a little rivalry among that group of rookie bombers. I, I know he'd love to see his name all the way at the top of the list. And the call will be against Tony Parker. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Pachulia. It's interesting. So many big, bruising centers in the league who can't shoot free throws, but Pachulia's actually pretty good at it. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Charlotte has gone four or six from three point land since the start of the second half. Walker dishes to Monk. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got his fourth assist in this one. Anytime Monk gets room to shoot, especially inside, he's such a crafty guard who you want to see pulling the trigger from inside. 
high post, Pachulia. That one goes. Count it. Pachulia's got five. And so often when there's contact, Zaza's involved. This time shows good focus to complete the play. Now, here's Monk. He's guarded by Johnson. And here is Monk. He has six. Charlotte needs to get a shot up. Kid Gilchrist, no luck. Unfortunately for him, the defense is slow to react, but he couldn't make them pay. Garcia goes in. Taking what the defense offers up. Smith with good vision there. Finds the open man. Charlotte trailing. Here's Parker looking for his first basket still in this one. Detroit with the rebound. Pachulia's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Lots of room. No good that time. And the Hornets now going the other way. Their next game is a quick and lone Zrina in Cleveland, taking on the Cavaliers. And that'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Parker passes to Monk. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. And the Hornets lead by one. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. But Julia kicks to Garcia. Out to the right wing. Here's Robinson. It's rebounded by Charlotte. And that was an easy one there. Just a missed opportunity. If you give it to him, he'll take that shot every time down the floor. I'm sure he's kicking himself. Yeah, the assist by Parker. Just brilliant. Really seeing his teammates out there. To the middle. And stolen by Biombo. He got it up. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass first guy playing out of the two guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Whatever the offense requires, that has to be your mindset. Always thinking team first. Thanks for joining us again as we get set for the fourth quarter. A terrific game so far. Pistons trail by three. They've got G. Pachulia is up there with Griffin. Then there's Reggie Bullock, and it's Smith in a point guard. That's the group for Detroit right now. Griffin's shot is off. And you know they wanted that one to go down. They could have tied it up. That was a huge opportunity they missed. Nick Batum, a, a versatile swingman out of France, a solid shooter and able to create for himself and his teammates. And the first one at the line is good. And for Batum, a steady vet, but a huge contract. Yeah, and that infamous summer of 2016 with the cap spike. I mean, he's a capable starter, but five years, 120 million, boy. That's a pretty penny. And both free throws, good for Nicholas Batum. And Batum brings length and a versatile game to his spot on the wing. And his defense, always a big asset for this team. He's the kind of player that everybody needs to have out there. Kind of a glue guy. Pick by Pachulia. Excellent use of the screen that time. And that's now 10 points for Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin has become a reliable jump shooter. Her passes Locker. And Pachulia pulls it down. Pachulia's got rebound number eight now on the night. 
Hangs in the air. Smith gets it to go on the assist by Griffin. The defense slow to react that time. Smith makes them pay using his quickness. Here is Parker. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Outside, Walker. And stolen by Garcia. Ahead, here's Smith. And the pitch getting another bucket right there. And we talk about this a lot. Turnovers leading to transition points. I love the anticipation right there for the pick. Then he wastes no time getting up court. And it's Walker penetrating. And Garcia with the block. He dishes it to Pachulia. Off of the key, Garcia. Picked by Pachulia. Jumper off the screen. And Detroit again with the bucket. Very well executed pick to give him all kinds of space to get that one off. Parker with it. Now Smith defending. Parker kicks to Herning Gomez. This is it to Walker. Six on the shot clock. Outside Batum. Here's Hernan Gomez. And that time also a missed shot. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing under control. It's good to put that. And it's a five-point Detroit lead. And this is how Petrillo gets a lot of his points. Crash in the glass. Charlotte calls timeout. Gee, really making a difference here. You know, this is the right move. Maybe a break in the action will cool him down. Different look here for Detroit. Langston Galloway's checked in for Garcia. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Ish Smith. Charlotte also making some changes. Cody Zeller's checked in for Michael Kidd Gilchrist. And Jeremy Lamb subbed in for Kemba Walker. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. James Borrego had some words for his team over the break. He said, guys, we need to play with pace, and that'll get us some early fast break opportunities. We're playing way too predictable right now. Guys. Outside Griffin. In the corner, it's Galloway. Back to Griffin. Picked by Pachulia. Griffin gets room off the pick, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Every time they get scored on during this for the Pistons, Drummond comes in for Zsa Zsa Pachulia. And it's Garcia in for Langston Galloway. Walker's checked in for Charlotte. Walker passes to Walker. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Here's the screen. Kicks it to Lamb. And here's Walker outside. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Griffin's got his fourth rebound in this one. Kicks it out to Garcia. Drummond the screen to the paint. Parker with the steal. And there's the pass to Lamb. Rebound Andre Drummond. And it's Detroit's ball. It's a 12-2 run here. Good pace. Garcia can't get it to go. Hornets leading by six. Outside, Walker. From deep. Knocks down the three ball. Walker's got 25 points in the game. And since halftime, they have been locked and loaded from beyond. Yeah, forcing defenders to come out and guard them, which could open up driving lanes if they want to take advantage of that. Garcia dishes to Griffin. Inside, and it's Drummond with the jam. With the flexibility to adjust at the rim, Drummond can catch the pass almost anywhere and still throw it down. 
And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play sponsored by Under Armour Hover Hat. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the Hornets making a change here. Batum's checked in. One twenty-seven left here in the fourth quarter. Outside, Walker, six to shoot. Pass to Lamb. From the wing. And that one hits back iron. Pistons, three by seven. Can't waste a second now. And even then, there's still little chance. They're teetering on the edge, just trying to hold on to any hope. He's a guy who's getting more chances to make big plays and big moments. Drummond comes through for his team. And Walker kicks to Lamb. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They set the pick. I love how he's willing to sacrifice his body in there, giving maximum effort. That's what it takes on the defensive board. Taking over when it matters. The evolution of Andre's game, physically and mentally. One shot. Yeah, big play on the front end to finish despite getting hacked there and big on the back end to hit the free throw. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions at this point on. Passes to Zeller. They set the pick. Stolen by Bullock. Now you need every basket you can get. That's the only way they're going to come back, and even that might not do it. What more can you ask for? Phenomenal here in the clutch. This is what fans tune in to see. And the Hornets call time here. chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Kemba Walker. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. 15 seconds left in the game. set the pick from deep three-point range oh no good there the potential game winner off the mark and that's going to do it for regulation so we are headed to overtime live from little caesar's arena you're watching 2k sports Well, if you're just joining us, the intensity has really heated up in this one. As we watch this one go now to overtime. And it's the Pistons to start out. And always a good ride in these post-regulation battles. This overtime now looking to be an exciting one. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime. On the floor for Detroit, the big man are Griffin and Drummond. 
She is out there with Jackson, and it's Bullock in at the three. And they take the lead. RC has got the first points here in the overtime period for the Pistons. Lamb passes to Batum. Zeller setting the pick for Batum. He feeds it to Zeller. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. Yeah, and guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run for him there. The defense looks done right now. No hustle or real desire to get stops. The Pistons trailing. It's from a high post. Outside Griffin. Back to Drummond. The Pistons working the ball around now. Good. And that's now 21 points for G. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Charlotte shooting 49% on the game. They'll take that. And Walker kicks to Lamb. The putback. Rebound Detroit. Drummond's got rebound number eight now on the night. A nice shot by Griffin. And now it's a three-point Piston lead. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. They set the pick. Lamb with the ball. Now defended by Garcia. Lamb passes to Hernan Gomez. Four on the shot clock. Here's Walker. And it's sent back by Drummond. Andre Drummond with the wingspan of seven foot six. It's going to be hard to get it over him. And when he gets himself into the right position, Drummond so powerful in terms of finishing at the rim. The only way to prevent that alley oop is to keep him from getting to the launching pad in the first place. Now here's Lamb. He's guarded closely. Detroit with the rebound. They've led by as much as 10. Here's Garcia. The shot's good. Griffin making the play. That's 23 points for G. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Charlotte calls timeout. And the Pistons making a change here. Galloway's check in. We're in OT here with just over two and a half minutes gone by to end the run. No good from Lamb. Pistons leading by seven. 13 feet away. Griffin can't get it to go in. And that can't happen. Missing the wide open chip shot. Mm -hmm. in the post. Jackson on him. They set the pick. Here's Lamb. It's Drummond with the rebound. The Pistons have gone five of six from the field here in overtime. And so the Pistons take the win. They escape with a victory, although they needed an extra period to get it done. Yeah, but what a great game. I mean, both teams, I felt like, gave it their all. But when it came to OT, it was just sheer determination on their part.
And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, congratulations on the win. You were the driving force out there on offense, so why were you so effective? Well, uh, you know, they didn't make it easy on me, D.A., uh, but I was determined to get us all the points that we needed. No matter how they were playing me, uh, I didn't want it. I didn't want to leave it to anyone else tonight. You know, I just wanted to be the one to get us there and, and to get our fans and get everybody this victory. So I'm glad it worked out. Well, your fingerprints were all over this game tonight. Well deserved. Congratulations, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. See you later.